This is how it looks if you do the rubber band method with your hair not long. As you see, I already have one big wick here. But the issue is where my locks are so already um, locked. You see, they're, they are matting together and becoming big ones, but they're doing it separately. So it's like, no matter how much I keep the rubber band on like this, they are not joining up like it. So that's why I'm gonna have to do the crochet portion for the lower half. And then I'm just gonna continue with the rubber band method up top or like as per regular, you know. Cause you see, the dog's coming in real nice. Like, yeah, you see him? The cub's coming in real good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she might up and everything, but it's just per smaller ones they they ain't really connecting and like even if you look here in the back like you notice you know what I mean it's one big yeah you know but still you're taking long now granted I could just wait two three years of just doing this but So I'm going to keep picking rubber bands up my hair. It's, it's pretty annoying. Um, and then just, you know, wanted to have it lock faster. Because, like, I like this, to be honest. You know what I mean? But I am going to put, like, a stone or something in a few of these. And let that stone just lock in there, though. wicky thing on my head. It's not a little, it's a big thing. It's a big wicky wicky thing on my head. She's been asking me for months, so I'm giving this to her as a birthday gift. She's getting the honor to do one of them. So guys, update. I had to manually merge my wicks with the crochet needle. Definitely stick to my finger a bunch. But as you can see, progress. This is one I did, and this is one Tushan did. You see, I in the back here loosen up, loosen up these bolts, well, put these together. Gotta take the thread out and put them in. What's good, what's good guys? Back here, you know how I think going. So, so, decided I'm gonna talk to you guys one time and give you guys a hair update on my, my wicks, right? Uh, you can see where I said I wasn't gonna ever do the crochet option, but over time, you, you also see the video where I said over time, it wasn't locking because the locks were too hard together. So wrapping them with the rubber bands, they still weren't locking into place. So I was forced to, I was forced to do the crochet needle. Now the one downside of it is it does pull out a lot of hair. Um, I don't know if that's due to technique or what. I did do it myself, um, but it was, it was, it wasn't a hard experience. It's very straightforward. But 
this happened. And I'm, I'm not happy about this. It's just, you know, it's really bugged me, but you know, such is life. Now, I can't say this is solely because of the crochet needle. Um, my son was hanging on my hair. Like he was pulling on a couple of them, but this is the only one that did, that did this. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut hair from one of my other locks to merge this back set that in place but yeah that, that that's that's the biggest no-go so you gotta be mindful of how you're doing it and you gotta you gotta make sure that technique is on point because you don't wanna you don't wanna buck into that issue like I did like trust me this this is no fun I usually if you if you see my hair like this and you wonder why it's like that it's to keep it from breaking anymore so that this doesn't I don't want too much pressure on this point at this point so that this doesn't break otherwise I'll be walking around like this for a while yeah, I mean you know whatever but I'm not really on that run so yeah that's the update on that um, I gotta oil my hair more often um, but the roots coming along everything coming along I get compliments on it often um, people call it the Miami style but you know Congo has been around time because my old man had Congo too so it's just deeper than any Miami style you know?